I am Yemisi Lanredo. The World Bank's Africa Pulse report shows sub-Saharan -Sub African growth will touch 3.1% this year. It advises countries like Nigeria to deepen macroeconomic reforms for growth. Lara Folayo reports. The World Bank's Africa's Pulse report is a biannual analysis of the state of African economies. The report's latest publication indicates sub-Saharan African economies like Nigeria are still far from pre-crisis growth levels. This is against the background of rebounding growth, which is described as not fast enough. The World Bank now advises that the region's governments implement strategies to address macroeconomic imbalances and increase investments. We are happy that for the first time since 2016, we are now again growing in positive terms in per capita GDP, which is that you know our growth is now slightly higher than population growth. But you would agree with me that this is not enough to eradicate poverty in the foreseeable future. So it's not the end of it. We are not celebrating. We are acknowledging the fact that we are back into positive territories, but we need to really speed up those reforms to accelerate growth and at least reach the pre-crisis levels for us to celebrate. The moderate pace of economic expansion in the region's largest economies of Nigeria, Angola and South Africa is seen as a gradual return to growth. But the report says this recovery is vulnerable to fluctuations in commodity prices and production. It now wants countries to build resilience by making diversification a top policy agenda. In Africa, countries are still uh, dependent on commodity prices or on even production disruptions. For example, if you have a drought, that will affect um, the production in agriculture, and agriculture is still a large share of many, many economies. So that's why it's really important to help to diversify economies so that they are more resilient and less susceptible to uh, commodity price shocks and other kinds of, you know, um, supply uh, shocks to, to production, especially uh, from, from agriculture. The Africa's Paul's report sees higher debt burdens and increasing exposure to markets as concerns for debt sustainability. It advocates that African economies embrace technology and leverage innovation for improved productivity and growth. Lara Folayo, TVC News, Abuja.